morning, beloved. I greet you in the most holy, powerful name of Jesus. It's awesome, supernatural, to be able to come into your homes and connect with you on this special day. I was planning, and God has given this word to me for, for three weeks, and I was planning to do this before this, but I think it is just absolutely magnificent to be able to connect on this day. I've been with Shoshana as we come into the head of the year, and uh, it's amazing, Trish. Amen. Um, good morning, My beloved. daughter, Trisha. Good morning, beloved. We, we miss you, we love you, and we're so thankful to connect with you. Amen. So sit a beautiful... Um, Shalom, peace, presence of God. And uh, we magnify the Lord. And we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you, Lord, for your open heavens today. We thank you, Lord, that we can come into your throne in your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your blood that covers and saturates us. We thank you, Lord, that you give us access to come in to encounter you and encounter to encounter. And today, Father God, we bring, we surrender to you, Lord Jesus. And that as we would speak, O oh Father, that would be blessing the Lord, the God, that would be all of you in that verse. We thank you, Lord, that you are in our midst. We thank you, Father, for the glory realm. We thank you, God, for your open heavens. We thank you, Father, for the doors that are opening and the portal that we can go through. Today we're going to talk to you and just release the word that God is saying and he has been downloading, downloading much. So Rosh Hashanah is a very beautiful time and um, I obviously didn't know much about Rosh Hashanah when I used to pray and encounter God. One of my most magnificent encounters that I've had in my walk with God was during the time of and I, my birthday is on the 10th, and I often used to attribute that to my birthday. And but it was not only my birthday; there were other times um, that I passed over Pentecost, and uh, which I was not aware of. And with the pattern of the feast, I very quickly learnt the power and the open heavens. I would, I would encounter those open heavens. It's great to be able to walk in open heaven, and we all do, and we all can. But I had to learn, and, 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 and very quickly I learned about these feasts, and I think all of you in the sound of my voice um, that are listening to me today, um, you have the fortunate um, opportunity to be part of churches and part of uh, organizations that honor and, and um, celebrate the feasts. And there's a special blessing that I am encountered, and the special uh, open um, increase in the spiritual realm of authority and uh, glory uh, that you come into uh, when you honor the Lord's feast. So yes. it's the critical for us to be able to understand that the, Lord, the feast of the Lord is not Hebrew feast, it's not Israel feast or Jewish, or Jewish feast, it's the Lord's feast and it's the Lord's day and those are the days that God tabernacles with us, that we encounter Him in a supernatural way. So when I start to understand that patterns, I start to study the feast. And that's when I realized, wow, what an important element that we're missing. And for you that don't know about the feast, I challenge you to go and study and research. And you need to encounter that for yourself. Because for you to believe, when you believe and honor the feast, you encounter and receive the blessings of the feast. So one of the things that I do during the times of the feast and our ministry does in the time of the feast is to spend time with God. Um, and and um, we, we're now in a time of Rosh Hashanah. We've entered Rosh Hashanah. Beautiful. So it's beautiful to, there is no warfare in this time because you're entering. And there is a supernatural peace and a, a supernatural open heaven. You can sense the portal start to open and it just increases. So we go in now because it's the head of the year, which is the it's the Lord's year. 
which is an anniversary of the very beginning, what you have in Genesis, of the creation of the earth. And the books in heaven are opened. So when the books are opened, God looks at the book and it's an opportunity to change review, enter in, complete reverse, shifting, changing, unlocking. New, in this new time, opportunity. New opportunities yes. that we have an opportunity to do yes. in this time. So if that is the case of what God is doing, do we ever want to miss out? No. <laughs> Never. So we all want to, if God is downloading and He's opening bottles and giving us opportunities, we all want to gather in and grab those opportunities. Amen? It's like a daddy dishing out gifts. When He's giving you, none of us want to miss out. So our daddy is dishing out gifts today. And one of the times, what we do in this time of Rosh Hashanah is to search our lives and take time out to um, um, you know, to reflect in a reflection on our lives um, and deep searching, a consecration, repentance, very important forgiveness to release the old. There's never place and capacity for the new if you can't let go of the old. Sometimes it is you've forgiven but you haven't let go and released. And there is a difference of holding on to things. Yes. In your heart. Yes. In your mind. In your soul. You're never going to really receive the fullness. And that white skin doesn't change yes. when you don't let go of the old. Amen. So, it is a time when I say this about letting go and the white skin. So it's a time of purging of the old. Purge yourself of everything. Um, a time of consecration. That's what purging is. It's a time of consecration with the Lord. And how do we do this with God? How do we get into this time? Amen. Amen. So we, we get into this time. It's beautiful. Right, Trish? Yes. It's a beautiful time. It's a time when we, and, and Trisha likes to enter in early. Trisha always wants to go in first. Trisha wants to not wait for everybody in the earth. Trisha always wants to get in. Sometimes she gets in first and she gets a lot of revelation from God before, you know. So, uh, I mean, that, God always honors the hungry and the thirsty that Amen. comes uh, to the well. And He will honor you and give you what you're looking for and asking God. And if you ask God, He will always show you and give you the revelation because He's a daddy. Amen. So we give God all the praise and honor in Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's a time of fasting. It's a time of praise. We call it shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna to the highest. Time of praise. It's a time of absolute worship of the Lord. And singing in tongues and praying in tongues is a deep worship of the Lord. That we, we tap into the heavenly realm. And we want to live in the spirit. We, you know, we, 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 not, we, we, we don't want to die and go to heaven and experience the war of God. We want to live in that magnificent of what God has got for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's, um, it's a time of creation. It's a time when the heavens are open and a door. And the Lord said to me three, four weeks ago, He said to me, I'm unlocking the doors. Unlocking the doors. Unlocking the doors. I said, what do you mean, God, unlocking the doors? And it took a while for I put this together and study this. Um, so, so, it's so apt that we speak today when that doors and portals are held open and God is busy unlocking. So I think it is appropriate and an accurate word of the times and seasons of unlocking the doors and portals of heaven over our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name. So, during this time, the heavens are open and the door or the portal is open and unlocked. And I'm going to talk to you about that. So, we go first to, to my first scripture in Luke 13, 24. Make an effort to enter in to the narrow door. Many will try and enter, but not all will enter in. So, Jesus is the gate. 
and there is a door that opens. And uh, when that door opens in Luke 10, 10, 24, it's such a, a beautiful description of when the door opens, um, we enter in in the name of Jesus. And when we enter in, um, Satan can't enter. The enemy cannot enter. No powers of darkness can enter. It has to flee Amen. in the name of Jesus. Everything must flee. Because remember, the enemy has no authority to enter into the gates of the Holy of Holies. Cannot. Amen. Jesus. That's why you don't get any warfare in this realm of um, God. Because it is an absolute resting time. And it's no effort on your part. Nothing that you're going to do. You know, Jesus was talking to me about, you know, what I was going to say about um, uh, that she doesn't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Because it's not by your works and your righteousness, not even by your fasting. It's just your flesh that breaks. In this time, God is doing it. Yes. Because the books are open and God looks at that book. And it's a realignment to the destiny and that your books and your walk are what God has called you to do. And realigning that to the kingdom of God. And remember, God always wants you to realign it to Him because you are created in His image for His perfection, to give glory to Him. Isn't that beautiful? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And don't we want to walk, live in a life that is obedience and sacrificial to God that brings pleasing, mm -hmm. a fragrance, yeah. and glory to His name. Amen. In the earth, Hallelujah. So, he says that God is unlocking doors. And when God unlocks doors in your life, the unlocking, and I'll talk to you about key, the unlocking means the restitution that he gives you back, recompense. And the unlocking doors mean reverse what has been locked up and been kept away and stored away from you. He's giving it to you and handing it over. Amen. Amen. Um, to loose or release, 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 release what has been shut up or fastened away from your blessings and your walk with God. To release from and open Open, open and unlock that which has been shut. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? What a mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Now, that door in the strong concordance in the Hebrew is the word Tura. Tura. It's spelled Tura, but it's Thura. Thura, hallelujah, Jesus, means entrance. It means gate, and Jesus, we know, is a gate, and the sheep enter through the gate. Amen. And the sheep follow. Now, this time, we follow Jesus, and we enter to the great, to gate to bring realignment for what God is calling us to and handing to us to be in realignment to the destiny call and to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the next thing about the word tura means opportunity. 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 Bringing you divine opportunity, supernatural opportunity, which is made to you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That divine opportunity um, comes when that portal and the heavens is open over to you. You start to work and live in a lifestyle of breakthrough to breakthrough to breakthrough in open heaven. Like wave after wave after wave of glory. And there is no, um, there's no begging with God. There's no crying and weeping with God. He's a father. He 
you just have to ask. In fact, it's already done in the Word. And when you decree a thing, it shall be established. So that opportunity is being given to you. You come into agreement Amen. with God. Amen. So Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand and I knock, and anyone who hears my voice opens the door and will come in, I will come in and die with them. So God is always at the door of our lives, knocking for us to open the door. There's some doors that we have to close and a lot of people have been seeing two doors and more than one door. And there's some doors that you've got to shut. And there's some doors that God wants to open from the decisions that you are in the place of some of you at crossroads. And you need to make a decision to choose what God has got for you. And you understand what I'm talking about, that there are things that you're going to let go of that can't go into the season that you're in. Hallelujah. Yeah. During this time, um, on the 18th, 19th, and 20th, God wants to download to you new patterns, new instructions, new structures and plans that He's giving you, yeah. and assignments of the new season that is taking you to, that is giving you a new place. It's taking you, bringing you out to a spacious place. So that spacious place means territory, it means land, it means position, it means dominion, it means authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. So, go with me now to 1 Corinthians 16, 19. There's a great door that has been opened. When the Lord talks about the great door, He talks about, and we declare the glory, the glory in the name of Jesus. The great door means mega. Now we're going to mega opportunities. And the mega opportunities is from spreading the gospel, is for speaking the word of God. Because remember, you are some of the only Bible that people are going to read. And when you go out, in the name of Jesus. When you go out, that word, which is Jesus, the sheep enter in and follow the gates and go in. Amen? So, what a blessing you are to the Lord, to be glory to His name. Amen. Amen. So the great door in the Kronkorn crop in Stronkorn Crop describes abundance, it describes huge, it describes strong and wide and great opportunities. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? So Acts 16, 26 says, now there's another realm in this time. More than opportunity at all. There's also a great deliverance and breaking off okay so for those of you that are struggling with things that you are doing that you don't want to do like Paul says you know this is all in my flesh suddenly 1626 suddenly there's a strong earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison as once the door flew open and everyone's church came loose so for those of you in this time as you rest in God God is opening the prison doors Sending those angels out Amen. into your homes and lives. Amen. Breaking and bringing deliverance. Yes. Shaking off the old wineskin. Breaking and tearing forth those things in our lives that cannot go with us to the next season. Amen. To the new season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that must come off. Yes. That must come off. And that is the divine deliverance and breaking off that God is doing Amen. in our lives. And all you got to do is say yes, say yes to the books of God, to say yes to the blessing of, of the Lord, to say yes to God, and to surrender. And God will do it. Hallelujah. And you say, when God, when God, when are you going to do this for me? And God is saying, now is the time. Many of us, as we rest in God, God is bringing the suddenness. So it's a quick thing, an acceleration. Suddenness is 
mega, supernatural, very fast, very quick, at the speed of light, that God is bringing deliverance and the chains are broken off. Curses in this time are reversed. Amen. Which means unlock, unlock, unlock means reversing. Taking those things. Now remember you dream. A lot of you, all of you are prophetic. So you dream and God shows you what the enemy is trying to do. Strategy of the enemy. So you go into that realm in your dreams and you see. What do you do? You get up. You cancel the strategy of the enemy. Of what the enemy is trying to do for your city, for your nation, for you. Don't you do that when you pray as a watchman. That is because God is not in time. You are an I. So you go into the realm of the supernatural time in the future and you unlock and reverse. So God has authority and power to do that. Amen. So today, those things that the enemy wanted to do for harm, God is unlocking them and reversing them and saying, no, yes. that is not the plan for your life. God is giving you abundant opportunities. Doesn't matter what the world says, doesn't matter what you thought was gonna happen, doesn't matter what the losses are, there is divine restitution and recompense, and God is restoring and giving back your blessings Amen. of who you are as a daughter and son of the Most God. God is bringing you the sudden lease, and God has given you the keys. Now, I had an encounter with God many, many years ago, and um, as I became, a, a, I was a baby Christian, and um, I saw this huge angel, and I was pretty scared. And he had warfare clothes. So he was a warrior and like a huge policeman, but he had war. War muscles, huge. And I'm small, so he was scary. He was big and he gave me this mega key. And uh, uh, he said to me, Sharon, this is yours. This belongs to you. And it was a ministry that he was releasing, you know, was showing me. And um, he said to me, this is yours. Nobody, but nobody, that's God is talking to you. Nobody. But nobody is going to ever take this key away from you, he said to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. He said, I have given this to you. The Lord has given this to you. And nobody will take this away. Do you understand, Sharon? Now, I'm saying to you, do you understand, child of God? And I was very reverent and scared. And I said, yes. Yes. Well, yes. You know, when you're so nervous and scared. Well, I said in all reverence, yes. And as I received the key, the key grew into a sword in my hand. And the sword just grew and grew and grew and became bigger. I took a long time to understand that. Took a long time to understand that. And now, I am remembering that God story. When I speak this word of Isaiah 22, 22, I will place on your shoulders the key of David. What? What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. Now that's the keys of David, which is the keys that Jesus went in in Revelations to bring that key and give them to you and I. Now that key is the key that Jesus uses to unlock, which he's given you. So now we declare a releasing of those unlocking in the name of Jesus, of every door that has been taking years to unlock. Years, sometimes been taking three years. I've seen this morning a key and a door that's unlocked that I've been struggling with for years, okay? Uh, not related to me, but related to my environment. And it was just amazing how this morning I got that unlocking word. So it just magnified that revelation reverence and relevance of the power of the key and the unlocking of doors. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Praise, glory, and honor. And um, we have a word and uh, Trisha is going to share with you because God has always got a word for our country, our nation, and for South Africa. And he always speaks to us. He speaks to us all. And we want to share that word with you. So Trisha, over to you. Amen. We give God, we give you praise, we give you glory, God, we give you honor, Lord. We thank you, God, for the mighty things you're doing right now on the earth. We thank you, Father, for your appointed time 
and your appointed season, God. We thank you, God, for the open heavens, God. We thank you for the gold. We thank you for the pouring in and the angels, oh God. We thank you, God, for all your mercy, Father. We thank you, God, that you are compassionate, God, that you are loving, God, Father. We magnify you, God. We glorify you, God. We usher in you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that it's none of us, but it's all of you, God. We thank you, Father, that we come, Father, in a place of surrender, Father. Complete surrender for what you are doing on the earth, Father, God. We magnify you, Jesus. Thank you, God, yes, for your glory, God. We thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy, God. Yes, God. And we have to repent of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, God. And we, Father, we repent for the sons of Korah of this mm. nation now. Right? Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, oh God. Mm. Father, we repent for rebellion. Yes, God. God. We repent for disobedience. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, God, that we come we repent, Lord. Like we thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, mighty God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, God. We're reading from Isaiah 40. Uh, follow me in your Bibles. Isaiah 40, 10. Amen. Listen carefully. The Lord will come with might, and his arm will rule for him. Most certainly, his reward is with him, and his restitution accompanies. He will protect his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and he will carry them in his bosom. And he will gently, carefully lead those nursing the young. Amen. Amen. And, and and that is such a beautiful word for the Tizia. And God is. Blessings 
that you have bestowed upon us will not take the focus away today. We come, Lord, to you, Lord Jesus, to your feet, and we surrender to you, O oh God, to your magnificent splendor, and we restore our relationship, O oh God, O oh Father, O oh God, to the first lamb, O oh Father, that everything that has taken our attention is removed in the season, O oh Father, that as we come into the ten days of war, Lord Jesus, we come into the divine place of restoring our relationship, restoring our place as a holy people, consecrated, holy, set apart, consecrated for the Lord, for such a time as this. And we give you praise and we give you glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And Chisha, you want to pray before I release the word of my locking? Because the glory is just eyes oh boy hallelujah and child of god we thank you lord we thank you father for your presence and we thank you god that we just stand in complete awe of you oh god we stand in complete awe of you mighty god we thank you father for your thrones of mercy and grace and your healing waters that's pouring over your people right now god hallelujah thank you Thank you, Father, for accelerated deliverance in this time. Father, we release and we declare in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. We release and we declare new and divine opportunities right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we release it, God. We thank you, Father, that we release off, we shake off burdens right now, God, as we come and we sit at your feet and abide and abide and abide in your presence, mighty God. Thank you, Father, that we're not distracted, but completely focused in you. We thank you, Father, for your words, oh God. We thank you, Father, for your promises, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that we stand in your promises, oh God. We remember your promises that you promised to us, oh Father. And we activate that promise right now in the name of Jesus. 